YouTube. Like, comment, subscribe for more thought-provoking content like this. Click the bell icon button. This is Spirit of Detroit Podcast. I'm your host, Avery Giovanni. And we in the playoffs. So, I've been gone for some time. I had a voice thing for about three weeks. Um, the uh, death threats got to me, I guess. The uh, the criticism from y'all got to me. But I just need to get this out, okay? I'm going to get this out. And whether it's criticism, naysayers, or stuff like that, I got to put the information out there. I didn't want to do the video, but I have to do the video. Say I said it. Because I, I, I said it first in October. Look. Fact is that the Detroit Lions have played a great season. They've had a phenomenal uh, year, phenomenal last twelve months, eleven months, and it's been crazy. It's been it's been it's been phenomenal. The Detroit Lions are the lovable team, America's team. This is it. We are great. Uh, Jared Goff got his act together. Uh, the last video I made, I made, not people that I work with, but I made. Was, you know, saying, hey, look, Jared Goff, I told y'all, da, 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 da. And then he goes out and throws five touchdowns. Silencing the critics and everybody, right? I'll never. Nah, I'm not going to get into it. Anyway, this is an earmark and a stamp on the season that not has that Stafford hasn't done, that, that freaking Andre Ware hasn't done, that. And the hooker hasn't done. This is something that's going to be a stamp on a season that is the first time in 30 years. And I think they're going to do it. Uh, it's, it's, it's bona fide. It's going to happen. Uh, I think they beat the Rams in dramatic fashion. It's going to be a high scoring game. And now you got other channels trying to scout the Rams and stuff. I'm probably going to do that like tomorrow. But um, I think the Rams right now. I just don't think they have enough in the tank. Yeah, they got a lot of weapons. They got two receivers with 1,000 yards. They got, you know, they got the running game, and they got Stafford. They got, you know, good defense, uh, solid defensive tackles, style of running defense and everything. But I don't think that the Rams have what we have, and that's the difference, is that momentum that uh, even though they won last week, uh, I just feel like we're the hype train. We have a hype train behind us. We're going to have home field advantage. This is going to be a win. This is going to be a win. I, I don't see us losing. I don't anticipate us losing. I anticipate us losing on the road against Dallas or San Francisco. Uh, or, you know, one of those games. Now, if we end up playing Green Bay in the divisional, um, we'll probably win that game and go to the NFC Championship. I don't really see us losing right now. Uh, this team is great. This team is awesome. That's pretty much all I have to say. But I will say that I'm going to take Stafford plus 300. I'm going to take Golf for plus 300. I'm going to take Amon Ra TD. I'm going to take, you know, Amon Ra for two TDs. I'm going to take some crazy stuff, boy. I'm going to take Stafford for two touchdowns, Puka Nakua, and, and what's his name? I'm going to take it all because this is about to be an affair. This is about to be a show. This is about to be the greatest show you've ever seen. And I think, I don't, I don't know, like, the Lions win, but you can make a lot of money off this. Like, this is like, like man, you can make some money off this. I think the Lions are uh, minus three and a half. And what that means is that we're favored by three points. We probably, we probably hit that spread. So I'm going to take money line Lions, and I'm going to go with those bets that I said before. Stafford plus 250, golf plus 250. I think 250 is a safe bet. Amon Ra touchdown. Um, I don't know about Jameer, but I do know they're they going to pound the rock. They're going to try to pound the rock with Montgomery. So, yeah, it's going to be it's gonna be good. If J-Mo plays, I anticipate him getting yards, not the TD. But I'm already celebrated. I'm already past that. The Lions, like, going. I'm already past that. So for me, I think I'm I'm just thinking about the draft and on the next season because I really I really think this season is going to end at the NFC Championship game. Now, if it does potentially go 
all the way. You know, that'd be amazing. That'd be just what the city needs. I don't really care about the fans that give me death threats and uh, all, the, all the goofy shit. I'm trying to get rid of my channel and all types of stuff. I just be needing a break from the toxic people that be telling me shut the hell up. And then I'd be right two, two weeks later. I just need a break from those people. So I'm back now because my mental health matters. But yeah, if it does go as far as the... If it does go as far as the Super Bowl... You know, uh, you know, hey, look, let's take it. Why not us? You know, but I don't anticipate it will. My Super Bowl picks, honestly, I think San Fran and um, and the Ravens got it locked because I think they're superior. But I also think there could be a potential Dallas versus the Chiefs, too, just on some rigged NFL shit. Um, I'm not. Uh, if I see Dallas and the and the Kansas City Chief, I'm not. I'm not watching it. I don't want to watch it. Because uh, <clears throat> I know those teams are rigged and uh, rigging games, and they're favored by the league for no reason at all. So um, those two teams, I don't. I don't really like. Uh, oh, the one thing I did want to tell Lions fans, now that I'm here, is that you know you don't have to hate Stafford. You know, I think a lot of y'all had the, um, a lot of y'all had this like hatred, like imaginary hatred for Stafford and it wasn't needed. Like, like I, I genuinely wanted to get rid of Stafford, um, some years ago. I genuinely did not like Stafford and I was happy he left and, you know, I was, I was happy. A lot of the hate that I see is manufactured. So me, I really didn't like Stafford because he 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 had too much power in his hands. He could throw you the game, he could win you the game. It's too erratic. Uh, the gunslinger shit is too erratic to me. So my my dealings with Stafford is trade this guy and get a freaking get get some picks and build a team, and that's what we did. And everybody taught, called me crazy. Did I should have learned my lesson? They called me crazy and they told me shut the fuck up and all this other stuff. Thing about it is those same fans that called me crazy. After the trade, they went with Stafford. This is what I don't like. They went with Stafford, and they, they were Detroit Rams, and I remember you. I see you over there with the Detroit Rams shirt, and you he won it for us. I remember you. You don't fool me. But now that golf has you know resurfaced and did his thing for the last two years, now you got Lions fans who was just rooting for Stafford in the Super Bowl. Now, guess what? They coming back. They, they coming back. You know, they like... Hey, uh, hey, look, I hate Stafford. Ah. The thing is, I think that Lions fans think there's a black and white and there is no black and white. Right. They think in order to big up golf, they have to hate Stafford. And that's not true. You can respect Stafford, what he did. Da, 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 da. Give him a standing ovation before the game. He gave a lot to the city. He gave a lot to the, the baseball team. He, he, he gave a lot to the kids. He opened a school. The dude gave a lot to the city. When that when that clock go on. When that game plays, fuck him. He's an opponent. Y'all can bring him out there pregame, say what up, you know, Tracy Walker, everybody, you know, wrap their arm around him, you know, the, the old guard, you know, wrap their arm around the guy and say, hey, what's up? We love him. But when that game come on, I don't want to hear that love shit. It's over. And that's that's what it should be. That's what it should be. It should be some respect. Like, we respect this dude. He cool, da, 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 da. He got 2,000 yard receivers. He got Puka Nakua was a nobody. He came out of nowhere. And um, honestly, man, I just looked at it. I just looked at the simple fact. I'm like, this dude is like, this dude Stafford, man. He's like, he's like almost like some of y'all, for some of y'all, he's like Jesus to y'all. You know, y'all gonna love him whether he got a Rams jersey on. He got it. That's cool. Uh, I just feel like you can't boo this dude. Like, you, you can boo him during the game. But before the game, you know, he respect to the city. You know, he did a lot for y'all. Da, 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 da. He not coming to get a retirement jersey or nothing like that. All he coming to do is play a game. And I think I could respect him at the game. But in the game, it's over with. So I feel like, you know, easy, say, say crazy shit. That fat dude on Wilbur Sports. I don't watch Wilbur Sports, man. I just see the clips, man. And, they talking crazy like, yeah, fuck him. And no, no, no. He gave his heart to the city. 
He opened the school. He did all this shit. Thank you. When that clock start, fuck you. It, that's what it is. And y'all shouldn't even be concerned about Stafford. This is a golf game. This is a golf game. This is what this is. They got a weak secondary. Let's take advantage. They got two good safeties, but they got a weak corner. Take advantage of them weak corners. Take advantage of corners that play off. And, like, this is going to be a light storm. I'm, I'm expecting golf to throw two, two, two or three touchdowns. This is a golf game to me. This is like this is what we need to see. I, I got money on golf. I'm I'm about to put I'm about to put two three hundred on golf, and these parlays. I'm about to try to make ten thousand off this shit, and that's where the money is at. Cause the B- Bitcoin ETF come out. There's stuff I want to invest in. I'm not worried about Stafford. Y'all worried about Stafford. I'm worried about golf. I'm look golf gonna hit the numbers. This this. If he can't produce against this secondary, we got a problem. Yeah, yeah, they got a good safety play. But them corners, oh, yeah, I'm ready. They got good run play. So it's on golf. It's really on them. And Kobe Turner, that's funny. That's crazy. I wonder if there was a Detroit Lions YouTuber called Spirit of Detroit uh, Spirit of Detroit, who said Kobe Turner was the best defensive tackle in the, la- in, the, uh, in the draft. I wonder if there's a guy who said that. And then y'all told y'all taught him he was stupid. And guess what? Oh, that same rookie defensive tackle has nine sacks. Oh, snap. I guess we can call me a draft expert because the last three years, told you you needed a tight end. You get Laporte. I said Laporte is the best one. Um, Second best in the whole thing, but best one for us. We get Laporte. He goes off. I told you about this, this, and this. You know. Y'all know. If y'all follow this channel, y'all know. But anyway... (laughs) I'm just, I might just do draft. I'm, I really will because y'all y'all told me y'all y'all told y'all 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 did everything. Y'all 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 terrible terrible fan base. But um, yep, yeah, I'm very happy being a Lions fan. Uh, don't get along with none of y'all, and it is what it is. Uh, but I do love the fact that we gonna win this game. Uh, we gonna get every. It's gonna be emotional for all y'all. Y'all gonna be at the stadium shaking hands with Brad Holmes and. Dan Campbell, emotional. ESPN gonna be there. Everybody gonna be emotional. Yeah, I'm just really trying to move past that. I'm really thinking about Super Bowl right now, like for real. Like, what's it good looking like? Cause I think it's gonna be the Ravens and and Forty Niners, but I, it might be the Ravens and the Dallas. Or if the league has their way, they'll try to get Patrick Mahomes. Cause Patrick Mahomes' route is the easiest. Until he gets the Ravens, Raven City, it's the easiest. Y'all should be concerned with that shit. <laughs> um, but like, comment, subscribe. Stay with me. Prospects now is going live. We got our first prospect out there, JJ McCartney, uh, <laughs> national champion. Uh, <laughs> I like that. I like that. So like, comment, subscribe. Love y'all.